Hey guys, uh, Trent Nessler here, uh, founder and developer of the VMove Plus AMI uh, in conjunction with Dorsa V. Super excited about our new product that we launched in July. 3,500 data points for every single movement assessment that you perform. What I'm going to show you really quickly here in this very brief video uh, is just what some of the reporting looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this, turn it around, and share with you uh, what an actual report looks. So here we are. This is actually uh, an assessment that I did on my son who is a 17 year old wrestler. Uh, he's 18 now. Uh, and what I want to share with you is what his actual assessment looks like. So I'm going up to this assessment page. I'm going to click on the assessment. I go to view. What this is automatically going to take me to uh, is the full report. Uh, first page of the report. And you can see on here that there's several buttons uh, to toggle to different screens. I've got a green button down here, I've got to see more up here, and I've got to see more right here. For this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a really cool function of the new version, uh, which is uh, the ability to dig into some of the details. So the first thing that makes the, uh, the EMI different than any other assessment on the market, number one, is that we provide you this limb symmetry index page. And I think as we would all agree, uh, number one, this gives you a really quick visual cue of looking at uh, limb symmetry, you can target in specifically right there in the red what things that we need to target in on. But the other thing that this allows us to do, and unlike any other assessment on the market, um, is that we share with you limb quality index. So these numbers over here, these are the limb quality index numbers. And what we do is we color code those again in your green, yellow, and red. So what you can see is, is that my son is symmetrically but he's symmetrically bad on both single leg squat. So again, what this allows us to do is identify, are you symmetrically good or symmetrically bad? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to, uh, again, <clears throat> to continue. And this takes me uh, to each one of the individual movements. And then it also takes me down to um, a detail page. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna look at one of those movements that we saw that was symmetrically bad, that was the single leg squat. You'll notice that they're also color coded right here. So I go over to my single leg squat, which is uh, right there, right single leg squat. I'm going to come over. Okay, so here we are on the single leg squat report. Uh, we've uh, pushed the detail button. And first thing you're going to notice uh, is this box at the top. Numbers in the blue, um, those are based off of our normative va values. And that is uh, where you should be uh, for each of the individual movements. You'll also notice that the limb is color coded. So you can individual, you know, quickly see at a glance uh, how what the limb looks like. You can see our target values for varus and valgus. You can see that uh, for valgus numbers, uh, his average and his max were way over. Um, the next thing that we look at is pelvic tilt. So are you controlling your pelvis during single leg squat? Should be controlled within about 10 degrees. His average was 22 degrees, max was over 40 degrees. Next thing that we see is speed of valgus. So that we see speed of valgus based off of our some of our normative data should be less than 20 degrees per second. Um, and his average was 36 degrees, uh, his max was 87 degrees. That final number, that tibial inclination, that's basically the depth of the squat. So we want that at 31 degrees or greater. Uh, and what we see is that he's well within that range. Now here's where uh, we get some really cool stuff. So I can take a look at each one of the individual movements. I can see where his uh, valgus was uh, greatest, uh, where his speed of valgus was greatest. And then what I can actually do is I can actually hit play and I can actually see what that individual movement looked like. So obviously he did not do very well on that particular motion um, and we can see that recorded. So you can actually see that by individual rep as we scroll across the screen. And again, all you would have to do is hit that play button to view the individual uh, uh, repetition. Now, part of the reason that we do that is we want you to have the ability to show your, uh, to show your athlete, your individual, uh, how they're moving and what those movements actually look like uh, when you actually see them. So this is just a quick glance at the V Move Plus AMI in our new version that was released in July of this year. Uh, if you're looking for more information, please feel free to direct message me or connect to me on Instagram at BJJPT underscore ACL guy. Talk to you soon.